Hi everyone, today we're going to be reviewing the statement. I know we've talked about this before, but it's so important and we need to make sure we get it done. So you're going to fill in your notes as you go, pausing as you need to. You're going to see times on the notes. I highly recommend you stop at that end time. Make sure that section is done, that you understood it. If not, rewatch it and figure it out. Now you also know something I always suggest is that we um, our screen, right? So we go onto our keyboard and we go to that little window and we click the window and at the same time we pick an arrow. And then it's gonna move something over and then we take the other slide and move it over so that it ends up looking just like this with your notes on one side, the video on the other. Now those are previous notes we've done in the past, but we're gonna have that open, right? The notes you should have open right now should look like this. Okay, so we should have this open, ready to go, screen is split, our focus, all distractions are out of the way. Pause the video right now, set yourself up, and then hit play, and here we go on our notes, okay? So what is thesis statement? A thesis statement fully answers the question you were asked to write. Not just a little bit, doesn't go you know, into these, oh, I'm just gonna answer one part of it. The whole thing is answered. It fully answers the question. It tells the reader what your paper is about. Now you don't say writing about, because we're in seventh grade and we don't do that, but you're going to come right out and say, this is my thesis statement, right? This sentence is gonna tell everybody exactly what my paper is all about outlines the major points of your paper. It's going to list right in it the major details so you know as the writer what is going in your body paragraphs and your reader knows what they're reading about. So there's no miscommunication. It makes it so much clearer when you have a strong thesis statement. It is the last sentence of the introduction, always. And we've talked about this before. Right, we hook, we background, which we'll talk about later, and then thesis statement is the last sentence of our introduction every single time. And it is the most important sentence of your essay. This is going to be the best sentence of your essay because if this is strong, everything else falls into place. You know what to write about, your reader understands your message, and you're able to find the evidence you need because you have a clear thesis statement. So it's gonna fully answer the questions, Tell us what your paper is about. Outline the major points. It's the last sentence of your introduction, and it's the most important sentence of your essay. So let's look at this. We've talked before about when we write a topic sentence or a thesis statement, we use I, V, F, right? The I stands for identify. You're going to give us your topic. If it's for English class, you're gonna use GTA, right? You're gonna tell us what's the genre? What type of text is it? What's the title? Name the text. Remembering that major words in a title get capitalized. And then who is the author? Who wrote the text that you're talking about? That comes first, right? GTA, not the video game, genre, title, author. Then we're going to have our strong V for verb, right? So you're gonna take a strong verb like claims, expresses, depicts, identifies, um, describes, and you're going to use that verb. So here's my subject and I for identify, here's my verb, here's what it does. This is what I'm writing about, right? And then you're gonna finish it off with F, right? So we finish the statement. Right? We take, if I said it explains, I tell you what it explains. I said it depicts, I tell you what it depicts. This little chart up here in the um, upper right hand corner kind of shows you uh, one fully done out. So if someone read this short story, The Birds by Daphne du Maurier, they're preparing, they've got this. These are possible verbs, and here's their finished result. So this it describes, or what does it describe? A series of attacks on people by flocks of birds. It tells something. What does it tell? It tells about the sudden vicious attacks on people by large flocks of birds. It depicts, which remember, just means shows. 
what does it look like? A large flock of visually attacking people. So this word is going to be fish, right? We're going to say, okay, here's my subject, here's my verb, and then I'm going to finish my thought. Then you have a good thesis statement. Let's look at an example here and break this example down, right? So remembering that the I stands for identify. So you're going to name your genre, right? This, the type of story that it is, then the title, then the author. That's our G T A, right, guys? So look down here. The drama, sorry, wrong number by Lucille Fletcher. We read this earlier this year, right? Drama is the, the genre, title is sorry, wrong number, Lucille Fletcher is our author. Then we go over to our verb. Does it explain, describe, portray, discuss? What does it do? We went with the picks when we did this earlier in the year because we thought it was a better way of saying shows, right? So the drama shows, the drama depicts. What does it depict? I need to finish that statement. What does it depict? It depicted a querulous and self-centered woman whose actions impact the outcome of the plot. So this querulous and this self-centered, those are going to become my body paragraphs. So if I have a strong F, I'm ready to go. So just remember, right? It's super important sentence. IVF is our format and we can get this done.